Podcast Total Sports. Welcome to sports, everybody. Our men's national basketball team in Panama for the Central Basket Tournament. Julian Gibson is traveling along. After arriving in Panama City shortly after 1 o'clock on Friday afternoon, Team Bahamas checked into their hotel, El Panama. Now for the Bahamas, they are confident that they can win this Central Basketball Tournament. In fact, head coach Mario Boleg says that he is surrounded with some of the best minds in basketball. Wade Watson, Kevin K.J. Johnson, and Norris Bean. Each one of them has an asset of the game that can assist me to make sure that we be successful. You know, uh, having uh, looking at the talent of players that we have around us, you know, you have to bring that same t- talent level of coaches to ensure that we put the best uh, product the Bahamas could put forward right now at this time and, and make sure that we become successful. Now for Teron Cox, one of the youngsters that has grown up and now is one of the veterans on the team. He believes the Bahamas can win it all. I like this team a lot. You know, we, have, uh, we got some young guys, but uh, the core of the group, we've been playing together from junior national, so... We pretty much know what each, what, what each other is capable of doing, what our strengths and our weaknesses are. We just got to put it together with the young guys and execute. That's the biggest part of this tournament, just execution. Now the schedule for our Team Bahamas Monday afternoon. They will take on Costa Rica at 12.45. Tuesday, the Dominican Republic at 5.45. Wednesday is a off day. Thursday, they will conclude Ron Robin play 12.45 against Mexico. In Panama, reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Teenage phenom DeAndre Ayton was selected for this year's national team. He is the top-ranked college recruit in the class of 2017, and Ayton spoke about how it went for him this past season. It's been rough, you know, but we, you know, we finished 21 and five. You know, you know, I got it was a lot of trials, trials and tribulations, but we got through it. You know, we didn't win the national championship, but we had a great season. What are you expecting as you go back for your senior season? Uh, hopefully we win this national championship, you know. I know some questions have been whether you're going to college, whether you're going to go play abroad. College is a must. I'm definitely going to college. You know, I just took a visit, unofficial visit to Arizona like three days ago. You know, it's just it's just taking, every, th- taking everything slow. You know, I got the EYBL in Augusta, the Peace Jam. What are all colleges are you considering like, right now? When do you expect to make that choice? I'm considering uh, Arizona. I'll say Kentucky, Kansas, mm, I'll say Duke, and UCLA. I'll probably make my decision probably next spring, like probably at the end of my senior year. Deshaun Taylor is also a part of our national team. He has just finished up his senior season with Norfolk State, and he spoke about his plans for the future. I haven't graduated as yet. I'm still in summer school, so I want to graduate first. And then my agent got some things going on. Um, we got some showcases in Las Vegas at an Impact, things of that nature. We're talking to a lot of overseas teams. IBA Bahamas, in conjunction with GetMeRecruited.com, hosting a showcase yesterday at the Donald Davis Gym. And it was all about providing opportunities for our young male basketball players. We have invited, you know, pretty much the, the top 60 high schoolers uh, in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. You know, um, a few weren't able to make it, but for the most part, we got the gist of guys here, you know, under one roof, under one umbrella, you know, playing basketball, um, definitely a game that they love. I know this year we brought down uh, a few special guests and a few coaches, you know, to, to definitely give the guys a look and want to give them an opportunity through scholarships and basketball, you know, to, to further ed- education, you know, to help fulfill their dreams. We've been blown away at the athleticism, the talent, the, the drive to, to ambition they have. It's just unbelievable. Summer is here and a number of basketball camps on the schedule, among them the Stingers camp at D.W. Davis and the Kevin Johnson camp at C.I. Gibson. Both of those start on June 27th. So a lot of camps, they, they go from three weeks to a month and then that's it. But with the Stingers club, the Stingers camp is after camp. Then we go into almost a year on Saturdays with our club. You know, we're excited this year. We have our, we're featuring uh, Tony Hobbs out of Dallas, Texas. Bridge Basketball Academy. Exciting time, it's 16th year now. I know a lot of kids and parents have been calling me about it and uh, we, we expect a very good turnout and very good time in terms of teaching the fundamental of the game of basketball. 
The Ackland Regatta is set for the Emancipation Holiday Weekend in August, and last night the committee got fundraising activities underway with the boat cruise. This is the first of uh, two of the boat cruises we need to do to raise some funds. We got to try and come up with some $72,000, and um, this is just a way of, of trying to get people together, letting them know this regatta is going to happen, and I'm trying to raise some funds and have some fun at the same time. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned to check on weather still to come. This is ZNS Total Sports.